Here's an example of multiplying using the distributive property. If you want to multiply 43 times 18, the first step is to separate the factors into easier numbers to multiply. For example, 43 can be separated into 40 plus 3. 18 can be separated into 10 plus 8. Now that the problem has been separated into factors that are easier to multiply, the word FOIL will help you to complete all four multiplication problems that will result in the answer. The first letter F stands for FIRST. The first numbers in the example problem are 40 and 10. Write down 40 times 10. The second letter is O, stands for OUTSIDE. The outside numbers in the example problem are 40 and 8. Write down 40 times 8. The third letter is I that stands for inside. The inside numbers in the example problem are the 3 and the 10. And so 3 times 10 is written down. And the last letter is L, and that stands for last. The last numbers in the example problem are the 3 and the 8, and so 3 times 8 is written down. Now there are four easier to complete multiplication problems, and these are just extended multiplication facts. 40 times 10 is the same as multiplying 4 times 1 and adding two zeros, so that's 400. 40 times 8 is the same as 4 times 8 and adding one zero for 320. 3 times 10 is 30, and 3 times 8 is 24. Those four sums are added together to create 774 is the final answer, and so 43 times 18 is 774. And that's an example of multiplying using the distributive property. You can find more information in the student reference book on page 202 for two more example problems. Hope this helps you to multiply using the distributive property.